Hey guys, thanks for clicking on my video. My name is Donnie. I'm a photographer in central Alabama, and this is my review on the PGY Tech One More Backpack. Uh, it's also kind of a kind of a special video for me. This is my first video on a full frame camera. I had the opportunity to upgrade to the Canon EOS R. Uh, been loving it as far as photography, so. I'm sure I'll love it just as much when it comes to video. Uh, about the backpack here, um, you know, when I was looking for them, I narrowed it down to two. It was between this one and the Peter McKinnon version two, which is a, a $400 backpack. That's that's a lot to have to deal with. I mean, I'm sure it's a great backpack, but this one is, you know, about half the cost. Um, so when I was looking to upgrade, as my skill level was increasing with photography, I started acquiring more gear and more gear and more gear. I just needed more room. Uh, I upgraded from this Canon bag here. And this was, this was a, a great bag. It just, uh, I mean, it's, it's a lot smaller than this one. I mean, it, it held a body and a couple, couple lenses and filters and whatnot. But this one has really uh, met the demand that I've, I've asked of it. So it's scratch resistant, water resistant, wear resistant. Um, I take it with me literally everywhere I go. I mean, I, I practically take it with me when I check the mail. Um, and uh, I take it on construction sites, doing real estate, you know, uh, landscapes, hiking trails, travel. I mean, it, it's, it hasn't, not one single thread, not one fiber has come undone. Uh, not one zipper has gotten stuck or bent or jammed or it's just done everything I've asked it to do. Uh, another thing that was kind of important to me was uh, being discreet, you know, being out in the middle of the city sometimes at night and, you know, walking around with a backpack to say cannon on the back. Just I felt like I was asking for it. And this one, uh, it, it, it blends in really well. I mean, it does look like there's something... Uh, a lot of something in there, but um, it at least doesn't say, you know, hey, I'm a photographer all over it, you know, walking through these, these city streets, especially in times like these, you just never know. Um, so let's, uh, let's get into the, the backpack a little bit. So it did come with this uh, sling bag. A lot of people use this for a drone. Uh, I think I keep like a lot of like different mounts, like a phone, phone mounts and uh, extra Arca Swiss plates, things like that. Um, this is also expandable. Uh, it will hold one lens and one body for it to hold a drone and the controller and the batteries pretty well. But I just don't really use it too much. Uh, you know, uh, since I've upgraded my camera, I've had the uh, I've had the extra body and lens lenses, and I've been trying to get my wife into photography and. Uh, we went to the zoo last weekend, and I let her take it, and she seemed pretty interested, and uh, thought it was kind of cute, but uh, I told her she's welcome to this one if she wants to use it, but we'll see. So anyway, um, 25 liters, and it is expandable to 35 liters, which is a, is a big deal because, you know, hiking and traveling and stuff, I'd have, to, I'd have to have one bag for my gear, one bag for my clothes. This one I can pack for, you know, a good, a good solid weekend. With my gear, clothes, I mean, you can't take, you know, more than a couple of outfits and underwear and socks and stuff, but uh, it is expandable by unzipping these zippers here. And then this opens up. I mean, that's a pretty good bit. I think it's actually more designed for a, for a gimbal because it seems to hold a gimbal almost perfectly. Uh, if you open it up like so. There's a strap in here, and it's padded. It's very protected. This is a Zion Weevil S, and it fits. I mean, it fits in there like it like it grew there. I mean, it's just perfect. So I don't carry a gimbal in it. Uh, it just gets too heavy, bulky, and I don't use a gimbal that much. So if you uh, you know do a lot of video, do a lot of gimbal work, I mean that's absolutely perfect for it. So it does have a uh, side access. That's pretty pretty handy. 
if you uh, open it up and get side access, this is a RFID protected pocket for credit cards. Put your wallet in there, whatnot. Um, the bottom is also side access. That's where this would slide in and out if you chose to do it that way. Uh, I decided to use both both sides for uh, hauling my gear, and it's been a it's been a workforce for sure. Uh, this is pretty cool. Let's so say you got your pocket here for a tripod, water bottle, whatnot. Uh, my tripod is a little, little heavy, a little bulky. It's a K&F concept, so I don't really put it in there. If I do carry it, I carry it up here uh, or on the bottom. There's these little hooks or loops everywhere. There's four up here. They're on the side. They're on the back. And it comes with these little straps. They go in this little pocket here. Oop. That's the waistband, but let's drop this. Got these little straps, and they will hook. Go on this one. They just hook there. Let's say there, and you can put your drone on your back or tripod or whatever. You don't have to cross it. You can, you know, do straight across or whatnot. But I have carried the tripod on top a few times, but I hate tripods. I hate them. That's, they're, they're like uh, the thorn in my paw. I haven't seemed to find one that I like. So I just tend to do without it unless it's nighttime stuff. So it does come with a waistband. It's detachable. I don't really use that too much either. But uh, so the tripod pocket. You got the tripod little holder. You undo that. You open this. It's nice organization for your cables. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, so you can organize. It's got a lot of organiza organization in mind. They really put a lot of thought into it. Pocket, you know, for uh, different things. I got a lighter in there and pins. But all my cables separated. I think I got a few business cards in this pocket. Maybe some Scooby Snacks. Who knows? Um, the back has a handle. It's got a go handle right there in the middle. This can be used to slide it over rolling luggage like that. I don't own rolling luggage, so I wouldn't know. But these tuck in nice and tight in case you do. Put it in an overhead compartment or something. You got a handle. You also got the go handle on the side here. This handle gets used uh, multiple times a day. I'd even say dozens of times in a day. Every day. And not one single thread has come loose. It's maybe stretched a little bit, but I mean, that's, that's probably a 20 pound bag, no doubt. You know, at least 15, 20 pounds. And it is, it has not ripped yet. I'm just, it, I'm blown away at the quality of this thing. So, uh, waterproof zippers. They haven't got stuck. You know, a lot of, a lot of my other bags, I've had to, you know, put chapstick on the zippers, keep them moving smooth. These have not let me down yet. Um, so, you open up the side. I did show you this. So here, uh, three compartments for batteries. Uh, uh, this is probably my, one of my favorite things. So you can store your batteries in there and they have these little indicators to mark whether it's charged or if it's dead or halfway, whatever you want to do. But that is just so thoughtful and just intuitive that they would put that in there. I mean, a lot of thought has gone into the creation of this bag. It's, it's worth every bit of 200 bucks. I am not sponsored. They're not paying me to say this. I bought this with my own money. I did my own research on which one I wanted. And out of all the bags out there, I mean, I guess there's some that were not in my price range that, uh, you know, that are, that are, are good, but I don't think they're better than this by any means. There's like the, the tripod pocket could be a little bigger. Yeah. Um, these, so on the, the straps, straps are nice and wide. It's very comfortable, but I have the uh, Peak Designs capture clip so I can stick the body on there and have hands free. But behind here are little spots for lens caps to go. Um, I used to use them. I've lost two lens caps by using them. It, it holds them, but it doesn't hold them great. And I uh, just prefer not to, not to do that because I don't want to lose lens caps. That's one of those things I just hate ordering 
the 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 front cap, the rear cap. I just I hate buying little things like that. I'd rather spend my money on cool stuff or filters or whatever. But on this side, it's got a little pocket in the zipper. Oh, those uh, pocket on the with a zipper. I keep a little pocket knife in there just in case. Got to cut something. Um, pocket here, pocket, pocket there. I like to keep my hopes and dreams in this one, but they tend to fall out quite often. But that's another video for another day. Um, yeah, put it on to see what it looks like on the back. That's another thing. You never really see videos where they, they show you what it actually looks like on the back. It's a little big. I mean, it's not it's not small by any means, but it's it's comfortable. Um, the sternum strap, chest strap, booby strap, whatever, is adjustable up and down. So you put it where you want. I think that is that is very clever. Um, you need to get into it. Well, I got a little tight right now. Either that or I ate one too many sandwiches. Oh. So swing it around, boom, you got access, just like that, get your body out, boom, you're ready to shoot. So it's uh, it's been awesome. Let me stick that back in my hand. There are probably better videos out there on this. I'm not a filmmaker, I'm a photographer. But I do enjoy this backpack, and I do enjoy reviewing gear. Um, another thing about being discreet that was uh, pretty special to me was that this bag opens from the back side or the front or the part against your back. So it opens up this way so nobody can come up behind you and unzip your bag while you're walking. So it does open up. That green is, is horrible. I can't lie. Some people love it, some people hate it. My wife's favorite color is green. She likes it. I think it's, it could be better. Yeah, it could definitely be better. So you got uh, on, this, on this side here, laptop and tablet, it just divided in there. I do wish there were some zippered pockets or Velcro pockets or something. I feel like there should be some pockets here. It would just be nice if I had a place that I could quickly stick some filters maybe. Um, I tend to leave my filters on my lenses and then just put the cap over the filter because uh, there's just really no quick storage. I guess I could get a case. I do have a case and I keep it in here, but um, I just wish there was some little pockets right here. It does have a lot of storage, but that would be nice. Just a little zip zip, you know, right there. Um, so it's, it's divided into two pocket or two compartments. The top and bottom like I said this is designed to go in here perfectly which is I mean cool I guess if you if you want to have a bag in a bag but I don't need a bag in a bag you need a bag in a bag so uh, you can see I, I keep a uh, I've got a drone these little flippy trays here are, are pretty fire uh, drone down there controller sits right here so I have I have my DJI Mini 2, a body, uh, wide angle lens, 11 to 16, 70 to 200, nifty 50, and I even got a little microphone in there. I mean, you can see it holds a ton of stuff. In here, it's kind of like a little catch all. I think it's got my tripod mount for the 70 to 200. I keep a headlamp in there, just little things. But you can see how much gear it really does hold. I mean, it's, it's pretty significant. Uh, keep the RF to EF adapter on the 50 because that's that's a banger of a lens right there. If you don't have one, you can get these things for like a hundred bucks used, probably even less. Um, I think that's gonna be my next video is on buying used gear. This camera is the first thing I ever bought brand new. Everything else I bought, well, I bought the drone new and the bag new, but everything else I bought used, man. This 70, this Sigma, I think I paid 300 bucks for that, but uh. Lots of pockets. There's a little shelf over on this one. It's just very thoughtful, very well designed, and I think they did a great job. And if you decide to get one, I, I don't think you'll be disappointed unless you just absolutely hate that green like me. It is, it's horrible. But 
So in between the two sections, you got a pocket there. That's where I used to keep the filters. It was just too inconvenient to get in and out of there. I keep a couple other things, a little puffer ball, um, filters for the drone, free wells. Those are free well filters are really, really good. And I think I have a remote in here for my uh, shutter release intervalometer um, for doing long exposures. But all in all, it's been a great bag for 200 bucks. I mean, there'll be a link in the description um, if you want to get one on Amazon. I, th I, I, I think I do. If you buy one through that link, I will make something, but I don't think it's going to be a lot. I mean, go do what you want. You don't, I'm not asking you to go through that link, but if you want to, that'd be cool. Yeah, if you would, hit that like button. Uh, and I don't know why you would, but it'd be great if you hit that subscribe. I have a ton of gear. I'd like to review it. And uh, hopefully I'll get better as this thing keeps going. I'm still working on how to edit. The uh, My computer doesn't really handle these bigger files that well. So I'm trying to figure out a way to upgrade to something with an i7 or better processor. Right now I got an i5 and it does good for photo. It just doesn't do good for video. And um, anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy it. And go get you a PGY Tech One Mo backpack. I mean, you won't regret it. It comes in black or this camo. All the, all the videos I saw, everybody had the black one. And I just, you know, I like being different. Plus I'm from Alabama, why wouldn't I want camo? You know? So, anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you're having a great day, great night, and hope everybody's happy and healthy and doing well. And be good to yourselves, you deserve it. Thanks for watching. I totally, totally, totally forgot to tell y'all um, one more thing about this bag. So, if you made it this far, you're awesome. Go ahead and hit that like button if you watched it all the way. Because that's impressive. Because you did something that hardly anybody else has ever done. So that makes you one of a kind. And I love you for it. So in the bottom here, you got this rain fly. Which I have used a few times. The bag itself is... Let me tuck these in before I flip it over. Because if she sees me flip this thing over on this table, she will have my ass. So, raining outside, you got your gear, you want to protect your gear, this thing here goes over it like so, and you can still wear it and run like hell to the car, or under a tree, or wherever you got to go to get out of the rain. So there's this little flap here that goes over that opening, and then this goes over and you can grab your go handle and run or you can put it on and run uh, you just have to take my word for it or get you one and go jump out in the rain but uh yeah thanks for watching and you know consider subscribing I, i've got some gear that i've got multiple things of and i've been thinking about doing like a giveaway if i could get if i could bribe some people to subscribe to my channel i will do it i'm not ashamed to say that uh, so I got, I got some cool stuff that I got a, a couple of extras of, and I'd like to do something where, um, you know, subscribe and I might, and I'll, I'll pick a random subscriber or, or leave a comment and I'll, I'll pick and I'll send you stuff. I got all kind of cool stuff. So here's, uh, here's me bribing you to subscribe to my channel. Uh, hopefully, uh, you take me up on it and I don't think that's, uh, that's a, a sorry thing to do because... Hey, it's America. Capitalism, baby. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Also, go check me out on Instagram at the Donny Bozeman. Um, also, I have a website at dbozemanphoto.com. Um, yeah, go check it out might like something uh, I think I'm good other people think I'm good I'm sure you'll think I'm good I'm way better at photography than I am making YouTube videos so prove me right or prove me wrong go check me out
All right, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.